Did you ever see Breaking Bad? The Breaking. movie, the the uh, TV series Breaking Bad about the, that. Yeah, of course. Thing. Yeah, it was good, right? Yeah. They tried to do that in Canada, but they just gave him free treatment, and he was fine. It was like half an episode. Done. <laughs> You're good. Free healthcare. Yeah, they Isn't that great. They have free healthcare. We're all free healthcare. Canada's like. You know, like our twin brother, where like one brother grew up, went to Harvard, and did excellent, and the other one like died in a meth lab, right? So can it, uh, yeah, Canada's, Canada's, Canada's yeah, they're, they've they've been living the American dream when we're over here living the American nightmare in Canada. Right? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's great. Hear, I love Canada. I hear it's really nice up there. Wonderful. I want to go someday. Someday they will be. I doubt they'd let me in. Mm, no, well, probably not. Nah, they probably let me in though. I'd like to go check it out. Check it out of the boot. <laughs> Whiskey. Oh, welcome back. We are Two Finger Spirits. We got the camera shy camera guy. Back here. Live studio audience. Henry the dog. And today, you know, my sister took a trip to uh, uh, Kanata. Where? Kanata. Oh, I know that place. You know, upper US. <laughs> <laughs> So this is our first Canadian whiskey that we've done doing on it the. It can't uh, be. Yeah, she was like, "Oh, I'm going to Canada. I'll bring you a bottle back." And I was like, oh, "Okay," because you know, I don't, I don't have much experience with Canadian whiskeys. My grandfather used to keep a couple on hand, and they got us through Prohibition. So. All right. So let's try it. They're usually rye. Then this is a rye. It is a rye. This is a Fini and Fruits de Rum. So it's finished in rum cast. How do you know that? You speak. Uh, French Canadian? Yep, fluently. It's actually my third language. So my sister Jennifer has gave us what uh, two or three bottles that we reviewed. That noble one we really love. Yeah. Now my that, sister that Kristen. Mike Rowe whiskey was my, awesome. That Mike Rowe whiskey was like it right about uh, yeah. there, right there. And then <laughs> now my other sister Kristen got me this. My brother Buddy got me the smoke wagon from oh, the Las Vegas. Is so good. So I think Amber is slacking off. She hasn't done anything. I didn't even know he had a sister. Anymore. Yeah. Oh, I got I got siblings. Oh. Siblings coming out the yin yang. Uh, here, why don't you have a, a nose of that? All right. So this is rust color. Nope. <laughs> um, let's talk about the Nashville. I'm first. a saboteur. Oh, I saboteured know, your. Uh, it, it's funny you say like you said this is. A, you think it's a 100 percent rye, right? You see, I c couldn't find the mash bill, but I think it could very well be 100 percent rye because they don't grow much up there besides rye. And I think my uncle owned a potato farm out there in Canada really? for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. You know those Canucks. Should we talk about the color? Canucks isn't derogatory, is it? I think it I is. I still got way more stuff to talk right, about I wasn't here. sure. Jesus, But yeah, man. you really got to cut out the Canucks thing. Because... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm All right, sorry. We're rolling. I should have wore my Canadian tuxedo. Should I, should I probably turn off some No, of no, I got plenty more to do here. No, but should I turn off, turn it back on so it's easier to splice? I'm not splicing anything. I don't, why? Is, Canuck is not a derogatory term. Look it up. I think Canucks are No derogatory. way. Uh, I was actually going to wear my Canadian tuxedo. You know what that is? All denim. Denim jacket and denim jeans. That's a Canadian tuxedo. That would have been really a dungarees. That yes. would have been appropriate. When us. I said dungarees that one time, you said that's only old men call it dungaree. Right. In Canadians, um, mm -hmm. that would have been a nice, you know, it would have been a nice touch. So this is Pike Creek. It's a ten year, and it's finished in rum barrels. They have a version of this that's finished in port barrels. Um, so it is a rye whiskey, but in Canada they don't have a like a. In, in in America, it's fifty one percent. It has to be. They don't have a minimum. Oh, but I think it might be a hundred percent. I don't know. Tell me in the comments if you know. You know, B D Wilcox probably knows, right? Yeah, he probably, probably knows. Hope so. Um, so it's done in ex bourbon barrels and then finished in ex rum barrels. It's eighty four proof. It's about forty dollars. I don't know what that translates into Canadian money. I think they use Monopoly money there. I'm not sure. <laughs> and. Eh, what do you call that color? Let's go talk about the color. All right, this is surprisingly dark for a 10-year 84 proof. But we're going to give it a chestnut Oloroso sherry. It's a 1.2. What do you think, Brandon? It's rust. Let's taste it. You know you got a pencil on that. Boy, they spin pretty well, these, uh, the Pike Creek. I use that pencil. I'm always taking notes. I'm uh, pointing, tapping. Huh? It's in my shot. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Rye. 
Definitely some plum and oak. I would think it had it had a barley in it. Yeah, you're usually yeah. really good at that. So. I would think, but you know what? I that, think, that could be just a smell of a super high rye. Well, I think barley is a good cold weather crop, so uh, maybe they do have some barley up there. But it smells. I've never been there. Have you? Never. No. Have you ever listened to any Brian Adams? He's from I have. There, or yeah. Al Alanis Morissette. Yeah. Huh? Like waking up the neighbors. You, uh, album. you had that jagged little, jagged little pill, huh? Yeah. I bet this tastes right. way better than a jagged little pill. Probably. The All rose right. is good. I'm going for it. I like Neil Young a lot. He's like the uh, Canadian Bob Dylan kind of, right? Mm. 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 Except he sings like he has vocal paralysis. Like uh, the lady from All in the Family, Edith Bunker. <laughs> oh, the way Glenn Miller played. The camera guy's getting mad. I got to just stick to the whiskey, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> If you could see his face, it'd be what priceless. Can we flip the camera so no. I can see you? All right. He never gets mad either. Jeez. I, I want to talk about the whiskey. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I already said the nose was rye, plum, and, and uh, yeah. oak. What's what, the palate what, like? Did you say anything about the nose? I did. What? I said I thought barley. it had like a barley. Barley, okay. I'm going to taste it then. You okay? These are so angry. Brandon, what does it taste like? Okay, okay. Let's get to the taste. It doesn't taste like a rye. Definitely not uh, the kind of rye we're used to. No. At, at, at the end of the finish, I get it. You know what I get on the palate? What? Flat cola. I get flat yeah. cola. I get, I get the rye grain, but not the typical rye flavors. Like, I don't or like get, the spice. I don't get any of the spice. I get nutmeg and pepper on the finish. Maybe it's because it's an 84 proof. I'm not really getting that mm, dominant. It is really low proof. It's and, like super viscous too. It's like it's like water in my mouth. And my sister Kristen knows that I bashed Jennifer for getting us that Lake George one that wasn't that good. And uh, so she's like, what are the parameters? And I said, get high proof. She did good. Yeah, 84. Yeah. What was that? Was slightly higher than she, she doesn't, 80? She, see, she doesn't drink it all. So That's she, okay. She sees 84. She's like, woo wee <laughs> But, you know, how many people are giving us whiskey? That's fair. We'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. Uh, it's good. I was, actually, I, I can't complain about it. Mm -hmm. Even at an 84 proof, it has a really great flavor, mm. which makes me wonder, well, what if he had a cast ring? And how dark would it be? Yeah. Right? Right? I'd love to know. Yeah. Do you get that flat cola? I don't know if it's a flat cola, but it's like a, it's a, it's a different taste. I get flat it's, cola. I want to say it's like a rye without the that super rye spice at the end. I do get rye, like the rye grain, but not the typical rye mm. notes of like the spearmint, the mm. black tea. Um, I get dried fruit. The finish, I still get the cola, I get the dried fruit, but I can't say if it's like a cherry or a raisin. I, and it's peppery. I get like a, um, not a sweet tobacco, like a, a tobacco tobacco. Which is which is a very great flavor. I liked tobacco on my on my uh, notes. This is no the finish is excellent. It is surprisingly good. You know what? This kind of makes me want to try another Canadian whiskey. I thought you were gonna come home with like a Crown Royal or a Canadian Club. You know, how many rye whiskeys do you know? You know what? Our Canadian whiskeys. I don't know any. I'm gonna go find. What one. did I say? How many? Uh, Rye whiskey, so I know. Oh, yeah. How many Canadian whiskeys do you know? I don't know many. Let's go with the Canadian Club. Next video. Yeah? Yeah. We have some. Really? Yeah. I've been holding out all this time. Well, I've been saving it for a special occasion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so would you get it again? I would probably buy this again. I wouldn't keep it in stock. Yeah. I'd like to try that port finish. I tell you, it, even at 84 proof, it has a great... Great flavor profile. Yeah, it's it. nice. It no, really I does have a good flavor profile. She, I think she picked a winner. Yeah. Winner, winner. Uh, we have a thing now. You want to? <laughs> uh, you want to? You want a quote? I would love a quote. Do you give it two fingers? <laughs> well, it gets two fingers. <laughs> How about a quote? Man is not worried by real problems as much as by his imagined anxieties about real problems. Who said that? Uh, some Greek philosopher, and I can't even pronounce the name. Epic, epic, epic. Why'd you gotta ask me this question? Well, Epictetus. 
Epictetus. Epic, epic what? Epic, Epictetus. Ooh. Let's go with that. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Hey everyone, thanks for joining <laughs> us. Um, say farewell if, to the camera guy. We might be getting rid of him. What? Making fun of me all the time. <laughs> no, we love Cheers, him. Cheers, everybody. We love him.